Good morning. It is a little bit after 4.15. We have 17 degrees outside. It sounds like it's been snowing or like a freezing rain for a little bit over an hour now. So I haven't looked outside to see the accumulation yet. Uh, got the coffee perking. Not super hungry this morning, so probably just going to drive a couple pieces of toast into me and load up some gear and meet up with the boys sometime a little bit before 5. So I think the plan's still going to be to try to get way up to the northeast side of Chamberlain Lake. So we're going to have to load up into the trailers and go up the logging roads and unload and use one of the logging roads to access the lake. Go after some big native brook trout. Yeah, we got a little bit of snow. Snowing pretty hard. Wow, all right. Get this baby warmed up. How you guys doing this morning? I'm ready. Yeah, it's pretty real out here. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's That's 17 degrees and it's been raining or snowing for. This ain't gonna be worth video today, is it, Joe? It's gonna be the best video we've yeah. ever made. Yeah, Adam's hanging back. That's yeah. I uh. Whiskey flu? No, no, no. you gonna count snowflakes? Uh, I'm still gonna follow you over, Joe, just because. We gotta get that big trailer turned around over there. If we get hung oh, up, we're gonna be, you know what I mean? We yeah. got two vehicles. I oh, think you're smart. I'll follow you yeah, over, you know what nope. I mean? That's doing the right thing. We got two bait coolers ready to go. Uh, oh. Bacon, moose burgers. Yeah, I didn't bring any food. I, I got, you got a frying pan? All right. I, we're gonna need, I thought it was just for yesterday you needed it. We're gonna need it. the pot. There you go, Joe. Right. Thanks, buddy. I thought it was just yesterday you needed it. Grab that end of that cover, will you, buddy? Yeah. Started your truck at 4.30. Beautiful. <laughs> Should be warm. It's about 25 smelt plus in this one. I figure we can grab a few out of your bag. We'll grab a whole bag. What are we gonna have? Let's grab a whole bag. Four or five dozen in one bag. And then, uh, hopefully we tear through them. This snow don't scare me. I'm spending the day out there. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. Ready? Yep. I gotta come over a little bit or 
a little bit. You're good. No, I just just the front ski is all I was worried about. Ready, Cam? Yep. Yep. Where you man, Joe? Plenty. Plenty. Good? You got room that way if you need it. Isn't it? You think so? Yeah. Yeah, that's it for more metal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tomo, Mr. Mike, we're coming on. You guys ever listen to TLS? Oh, yeah. This thing makes my PP go to doing, doing, doing. I love this thing. Uh, if I remember right, it's quite a few miles in. Because we're up around the arm now, right? We're up, way up past Nugent's camp. We're up, we're up beyond the farm camp, up. That's what I mean. We're. I think we got a decent little ride in there. If I remember right, we Two bird, miles. We bird hunted this. All right, guys, we made it out to the lake. Pretty good little sled ride in. Uh, pretty comfortable, actually, on that. No, pretty good. Those sl all. Them sleds we're running are all un unbelievable. But. It doesn't look good. There's no tracks out here ahead of us, so we're stopping on the edge of the lake. We're gonna go do some test holes, see if we can find some oil. Oil. Yeah. Some black. Well, some definitely hillbillies. Black gold. Texas tea. See what see what we're dealing with and see if we can bring the sleds I'm out. Right here, yeah. Wet on the shores. Yeah. There you have no snow here. We've, we've probably got enough water here to test, huh? Yeah. No? I don't know. I'd like to walk a little. Okay. I mean, it's up to you. You're wrong. I'm definitely a different color right there. Well, he's got a chance of more than today, Joe. I'd say. <laughs> I'd let her rip right here safely. Yeah. Oh, you already took this up. <laughs> That's more, plenty. More than round. That's more than we fished yesterday, isn't it? Yep. But every 50 feet is going to be a different story, I think. Uh, I say we just right. take 20 minutes and drill some holes around here and see it, try to make a safe path to start with. Yeah, I'll go out. Look, why don't we walk another 50 and just see if it gets left. It's so black here. Can you get a kind of half measurement on that? I mean, that hole right there is a three, three, four pounder. You know what I mean? Oh, that's Eight def inches, Joe. Ain't no yeah. less than, than round or... I mean, that's three, four pounder right there. See, that... see how much it changes as yeah. we go out. Yep. Eight, eight seconds. I like how there's no water on top of the ice out here. All right. Less, same. That's eight inches. Same. I'd say. Okay. I'm just checking to see when it starts going off. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm Ky Kyle is. says there's a line. I mean, you can kind of see it out Something, there. Yeah, that's it looks what like. I say. It looks weird. Oh, that's a fun feeling. How uh, how far out do you guys even want to go anyway? I don't know. I mean, I I'm not gonna go any further than this for Brooks. Right. Right. Slam in the shoreline, we don't care. Alright, that's yep. quite a bit less. Whoa. Yep, ain't no ice here. Yeah. I mean, there's ice, but still, here. Get rid of the snow first. Yeah. Whoa. Fall, fall. Okay. Alright, right, right there. Okay. So check it to, to the. Definitely less, so we're not Whoa. coming out yeah, this definitely. far. Whoa, yeah, definitely. Whoa. Three inches less. Yeah. Four or five, but six inches. Ah, uh, nope. Uh, a little oh. bit under six. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, now we know. All right, so we just gotta stay that that in here. Maybe I'll jump oh, on back with Cameron and poke a bunch of holes down to that furthest point. Yeah. Fish them or not, and make sure we got good ice right down to that point. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I don't know, Joe. I've been swimming. I don't like it. At least there ain't no water in there. Right. 
A little balmy today, fellas. 15 degrees. So you don't mind taking your sled? I don't mind taking my sled out right now and staying within 50. No, 50, I don't mind it either. You know, 60 I was feet poke of. some holes and make sure we're safe up this shore. Line. Yeah. But imagine it gets better down. We the first hole we drilled was eight inches, and then we drilled another one eight inches then we went out further and we got into like five inches so it dropped pretty considerably so we're going to go up this shoreline stay that same distance away from the bank that we had eight inches but we just came out here and drilled a hole and we probably had about six inches so brandon's going to walk ahead of us and he's going to keep testing oh, Four, five, ooh. ain't no ice that ain't much ain't no ice here we can fish it, do just stay this close to shore or closer. Huh. Oh, it froze up. If you believe it. Nice one. Nice one. Big one, actually. Yeah, Joe. A lot of line, guy. Come back around? No, he's. The, the, I, I just felt resistance in the fish, I'm pretty sure. And he's coming towards me. Might have stripped me, but I know I just felt it. Huh. Me, didn't he? he got you? Yeah. Huh. He'll be back. Absolutely. What just happened, Brandon? Well, I'll tell you what just happened. Down off that point, it was a rookie mistake. And uh, about three inches of water, them augers just went into. Oh, and, and they did both augers. Why would they do both? Yeah, just to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, what was it? Hey, what was their first mistake? Not getting out of bed early this morning and beating us. <laughs> we, we worked our off to get here early today. 4 a.m., Joe. I had my alarm set. Yeah. I knew you was going to be proud of me. This yeah, morning. I was wicked proud of you. Same one, Joe? No. <laughs> yeah, actually, I think it is. No, I that sort of thing. Like taking a kid fishing, Cameron had to bring my scoop, had to bring my bait. <laughs> Give him weights, hooks. Yeah, hooks, child support weights. On. Other than that, I've pretty much done everything myself. Other than that, you get child support on him, Cameron? I wish. Uh, Walk us through it, bro. Yeah. I think he walked it right through that log underneath us, Joe. Oh no. Took some? Yeah. Took some on our Flag! My first flag of the day, baby. Out here brook trout fishing. Let's see if I can get a brookie. There, but nothing there at all. Dang it. He chumped. He did chew them a little. They're just not eating yet. They're not taking them right. Isn't it? <coughs> um, some emergency cookware. That's what we got going on. That's all we got. You got what you got. It all tastes the same. Won't spill over the sides. Nope. Still got him? 
Good one. What's all that for? Oh yeah, Steve. Nice trout. I think it went. I think it went deep. Too. You need to you know it. Here you go. Did you get him? Oh shoot. Well. He's going. Sorry, buddy. Good fish, bud. Thank you. How many inches is that one? I don't know, just a little bit smaller than that one it I had. It was definitely I think. smaller. Lively. Just barely tripped. You guys ain't done nothing. They haven't gone fast. Go over top of yeah. I want to see what the ice was like too. What they say? Four to eight inches. Just like you know, just like here. Oh, it's rattling. It is rattling. Yeah, she just took off sideways. Open a tug. Oh. Chewing right there. Chub? Don't know. Not a chub. That looks pretty good. Oh. I don't know. I, it was ice. Oh, there's definitely a fish there. Sorry, but I am just going easy. I don't think it's a 20 inch, but I don't think it's a small one either. You can catch any weights, huh? He doesn't. Look at the size of that mountain trout. Stop it. What a white fish, fish. yeah. Jeez, that might even pee. 16, anybody got a ruler? Well, I've never seen a YD on a brookie set. You? <laughs> no. Here you go, just cut it. He swallowed. Here you go. Interesting, huh? Yeah, those are scissors on the inside. I was not expecting to see a white fish. Like the bouncing of a brook trout. I didn't know it wasn't big, you know what I mean? But I knew it was something. Mm. Consolation prize. Say well about. Feels like it's rough now. See home? Oh yeah, I feel it. Oh, it feels tiny. Something small. Oh, look at the size of that thing. He's, ha he's only twice the size of your no. That's the smallest brookie I've ever seen here. Thanks, Joe. Yeah. Look at that one, old boy. Well, it's gonna start somewhere, Joe, right? Thanks, buddy. Killed the friggin' bait. Me and Cameron, we left late one evening. And uh, we hit the Golden Road in Millinocca at, say, 9, 10 that night. And we was headed up to, up to Baker. Run across the Golden Road, get the whole way across to the Caribou checkpoint. 11, 12 that night, late. Truck's sitting there. Jesus, that's weird, Cameron. 
I was gonna go in and call into the check to the gate, and uh, these two young fellas they they get out and they're just looking us over. Cameron gets out, he's checking the load, got the shack on and stuff, and kid walks over, he said, uh, got talking back and forth, and I went over and called, checked in, come over, and the guy, the kid just looking at Cameron, I he's, knew, he's staring. I knew what was going on, I was waiting he's, for the question. He's staring, right, he's looking, he's looking, he's trying he not to be caught, and he's <laughs> keep staring at Cameron, and then, and then we was talking, and then I laughed, and he looks at his buddy, he said, it's them. <laughs> That's what he said. You guys, yeah. You guys ice fish? Yep. Do you guys know Joe Hall? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's us. He said, well, well uh, I knew that was, I recognized that truck. <laughs> he said, well, we're lost. From Portland or Southern Maine. Wow. I said, uh, where's your DeLorme? He said, DeLorme? Oh, no. I said, you don't, you come into the North Maine Woodland, at least a DeLorm, ga oh, you know, yeah. Gazetteer, that's, that's rule number one. Everybody's got DeLorm. Where are you guys headed? I said, we're headed for Baker Lake. And his jaw hit the ground. We are too, can we follow you? I said, I don't care, I don't really know where I'm going either, but you can follow us. We seen him Sunday, this was Thursday, Sunday night, we, we were sitting there by the shack, me and Cameron having lunch, and we seen the truck come down around him. Beep, beep, uh -huh. away they went. I don't even know if I'd recognize him if I'd seen him again, but... It was pretty funny though. How much do you put on there usually? Oh my god, that's not good stuff. It just went up. Laker? Oh boy. This oh, one is too. That makes two. That's a small, that's a three and three, but I still think it's got a lot of There's a fish right there. White trout, come in. Nibbling like a friggin' another white fish, Joe. Or a 25 inch white trout. 25 inch white fish. It's the fish there, I don't know if he's wound. Might be the same fish on both flags. Got him? Got him? He's over by that other flag. Fish on there. I think he's quite a ways away though. Either it's a small mountain trout. Fighting like a little brook trout. Getting any bigger? No. Not bad. I think it's a like, pretty nice brook. Yeah, looked like a good brookie for a second there. Yeah, oh yeah, nice one. Pretty trout, isn't it? Yeah. That might be pretty, PB. Pretty good gust of wind right there. Slim in a six pound test, see how he does it. Uh, I thought it looked like a... Pretty, pretty fish. Nice oh, yeah, that's a. The lake? No, it's oh, a nice brookie. Nice brookie. It's probably 16, 17. It's nice. Yeah, he's bigger. Oh, I think he's a little bit bigger. Big wide. Big not. Let well, you get a better look at him, Joe. I think he's pissed. Man, I've never seen a small trout fight so hard. No, I don't know. I don't think he's that small. I think that's a nice trout. Nice fish. Beauty. Oh, boy. Oh yeah, look at That's that one. Fish. I thought he was a little bigger. Deep. Yeah. Hold up, baby. Let's go get the next one. Nice. Look how pretty that is. Thank you, buddy. He's a uh, 18 a, inch. Yeah, he's a nice fish. Yeah. Looks like it's spooled and it's cocked right off. Other than that, is it pretty good? <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. Yeah, I don't see any line. I'm pretty sure it's them. Yeah, other than that, you're fine. I'm telling you right now, I like this Eskimo jacket so far, Joe. Yeah. 
They make good oh stuff. Oh boy, this ain't good. Man, I just walked out here like three minutes ago. I watched the second one go up. The first one I was staring at. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm see. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> I I moved the slush. It's probably nicely. got three oh. rocks, twelve quarter wood, and two sticks. Well, that's okay. Slush is getting serious, isn't it? Terrible. Man, this fish is out 100 yards. Once that fish tunked it, it just feels like bait. He's going to come around to your right in a minute. Well, it feels like more than bait right there, but just no. Huh, dropped it. That's okay. Yeah. Nice silvery trout, that one. I oh, that was beautiful. Oh, right now, I gotta shake hands with the young boy. Yeah, we can see what's going on, guys. How about right now? Side pad. Oh my god. What? Uh, Tiny? Well, I guess they're not that much. Oh my god. Feels terrible right now. Grass on it. Yep. Huh. This lake is flooding by the second. Yeah. Starting to bark a little bit, ain't it? On and off, on and off. Try that, try that auger right here, like five feet out there, and see how much ice you think there is. <laughs> Take it a little bit further away. Yeah, oh, there you go. Not a lot there. There was less here. Not much, is there? Yeah. Four? You have another four finger task? I think there was less here because of the snow. See this thicker snow? Four inches. Our local flying coyote. <laughs> That's cool though, ain't it? Scaredy. Let's just see that big trout. He's showing up knowing we're gonna start catching him now, fellas. What do you think of that thing? I think the I think the weather just changed, Joe, in the last hour, big time, didn't yeah, it? Big time. It cleared up. You can see now and it got colder. Yeah, it got colder big time. I don't know. Started out at 15 degrees this morning. Is that what it was? Yeah. Cameron's got two trout. I've got two trout. You got two? Yeah. I caught another one too. I released one a little bit, the smaller one. That's right, yeah. How many do I have? And the white fish. You got two trout and the white fish. Cameron's got two trout. How many do I have? Dead weight today. Whoa. Whoa! I did not enjoy that. I've never seen the ice drop like that be there. Maybe we ought to keep the snowmobile back a little more. Apparently, yeah, yep. You got a bait stick. You got a straight nipper? All right, I gotta go travel for one. Yeah, I'm going to yeah, Maybe a little roll oh. there. Yep. Oh, Ooh, nice head shake. Yeah. Feels trouty. Feels pretty decent. Uh, he's just close. Big head shakes. Giant oh, head shakes. Oh, nice trout. Was it? That was a nice trout. Big 
big head shakes, man. Oh my gosh. Stripping me. Yep. Thank you, nice trout. This is awesome. Oh yeah, oh, what yeah. a beauty, huh? That's eh? a nice girl. He's wide, or she is. Not happy right now. No. Won't well, let me get his head started. Oh, that's a big trout, Joe. Oh, look yeah. at that. Oh, yeah, Joe. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> what a beauty. So Holy cow. Nice trout. Yeah. That might be dinner. What do you think? That's up to you. I might, I might you want to eat it. Yeah. No matter what. I think I'm going to keep the first brookie of the year. It's over 14, I'd hope. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, it's thick. Hold it up for a picture. All right, guys. <laughs> oh. I'm going to keep yeah. this fish. So I'm going to dispatch it pretty quick. But that is a nice, meaty, thick brook trout That's right a, there. That's a beauty. Yeah. That one's gonna go for dinner either tonight or to my buddy Stevie's. But that's too nice a trout. Beautiful. That's right. Nice, thanks buddy. Yeah, yeah. Is this some Rachel Ray special? You wouldn't see that on Creek Food Network, would you? <laughs> go ahead, Joe. Yep. What are you putting on it for sauce? I just put some of that wild. Which one, mine? That one? Hopefully kick out. One shot? Yeah, sure. I bet I'll make a turn, Joe. Gearing up for Antarctica, Joe. <laughs> yep, pretty nice out here this afternoon. Yeah. We're pretty well at the end of the day today. It's starting to get dark. I uh, had a pretty good day. Five trout top side. Five trout. Five trout. Yeah, nice white, white fish. fish. No mountain trout. No, not a one. Pretty sad day there, but. We're about ready to start picking up. See if we can get out of here, stay in top side. We're gonna have to wrestle this shack because it's it's blowing pretty good and it's yeah. frozen. And then we got a good 20 minute ride out of here probably. 20, 30 minutes yeah. back to the truck, then we gotta get turned around. Get loaded up, then somewhere get turned around. <laughs> then 10 more miles down the dirt road back to the parking lot. Yep. Make some din din. <laughs> All right, we got her loaded. No, it's gonna be too much. Yeah. I know. Just in time. That's all right. Yeah, we ought to be back by dark. Oh yeah. Pretty nice trail ride out. Yeah, I won't take us too bad. No. Really nice out. Yeah. It's gonna be nice when we hit the wood line.
Need a lift? Yeah? Yeah. Nope. You got it. All right, can you do take two and load it again clean? Yeah. You want them to tip her down? Yeah. Yeah. We got quite a storm coming in. Bunch of people coming in today. Brandon's buddies are coming in, and I got a buddy who's supposed to be flying in, landing in Bangor tonight, around midnight, and I can't believe they're gonna fly him in. But we haven't heard anything yet. We're we're in the wilderness. Brandon's got one of them Garmin inReach, so he can get a text. So as soon as he gets, we haven't heard yet if the flight's canceled. So I'm gonna have to leave around 3:45 in the morning to get him. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run back to where I'm staying tonight on the lake in the tent, grab my phone because I got his flight info and we're gonna try to find out with that Garmin if the flight's been canceled or, or delayed so at least we know what's going on. So I'm gonna make a rundown, check out the conditions. I heard it slushed out pretty hard today on the lake. Make sure my camp's still set up good for tonight and not sitting in the slush. Never, never. Leave that right open, Joe. Don't okay. worry about it. It's what always... you working on here, Bob? Hey, we got moose, sausage burgers, Potatoes. You guys killed a four moose? Of course we did. Oh my gosh. Well, we gotta eat uh, somehow. That's a uh, little sausage burgers, some moose burgers, Joe, some fried potatoes. Cameron, I mean, uh, mass mumbo jumbo, whatever it is there. Macaroni and cheese and a couple burgers left over there. That's the best we could do. Pretty good. Another day in the record books. Pretty good cleanup. Yep, tomorrow on deck. Looks pretty good. Yeah. Crew coming in? Crew's coming in tonight. They're just turning up the Golden Road, so. Uh, I think they got a long ride ahead of them, Joe. It's dirty out, isn't it? Yeah, pretty bad. Tomorrow's plan, local. Fishing close. Yeah. Well, you'll come see me. Come see me tomorrow. I'll figure, I'll figure out a plan tonight. made it back for the night pretty happy about that got the roof cleaned off had quite a bit of freezing rain that stuck to it that's never good on these tents Gonna get the coffee ready for tomorrow, so push button start. Keeping my water in the tote kept it just warm enough to not freeze, which is a good thing. We'll do a thermos full. Just found out through the GPS phone that my buddy that was flying in, his flight got canceled. 
So he's going to be another day later and he's going to come in on Wednesday. I might not be picking him up at the airport. My other buddy Pat might be picking him up at the airport and bringing him up and, and staying for a few days too. So conditions are pretty well terrible right now. You can't get around like we were on a little bit of thin ice today and you know we did the best we could where we were but we didn't get to fish exactly where we wanted to or how we wanted to. So we're really limited to space. But that being said, we caught four trophy brook trout today and another small one. And Brandon caught a keeper whitefish, which is pretty rare. So pretty phenomenal day all in all, especially with snotty conditions on the weather. I'm just getting in now to camp. I got 23 degrees out there, 25 degrees inside. So not much warmer inside. That must have went up a couple clicks since I got home. All right, that's going to do it for tonight, guys. Just crawled into bed. It's pretty chilly in the bed. I wouldn't mind that being preheated. Maybe I need a dog or a woman. Something to preheat that bed for me. <laughs> but pretty much awesome day. We accomplished what we wanted to accomplish. We got to a place that we wanted to fish by means and a route that we've never taken. So it took a lot more work. You know, we had to load up and get all the gear in in the trailer and snowmobiles in the trailer and stuff. And, but we made it in, which was the key. That was the plan. And we were first in, so which was cool because another group showed up like an hour after we got there trying to fish that same spot. So it was cool that we were there first, so we got the spot at least. And then we got rewarded. Wasn't like a smasher day of fishing, but we weren't really able to move around too much. And we did not fall through the ice, which is a very good bonus, but I'm going to finish the night off reading this book. Um, this one is about the Penobscot and the log driving, which happened right where I am sleeping right now on the ice. So it's pretty cool to read about it while I'm, while I'm here. This book's going to come out, uh, in the near future. So if, if it's all right with the author, I'll throw a link to this book. This is the beta copy and I'll throw a link to this book. Um, when it and let you know when it comes out but it's a pretty awesome book about Maine and Maine history and a lot of the characters in it but thanks for tuning in guys I'm a little bummed my buddy's flight got canceled I'm happy that it did get canceled instead of going through with it and an accident happening or somebody getting hurt or anybody getting hurt so it's good that it, they were safe because it was pretty snotty and icy out out there from what I understand so I'm not gonna see him at all tomorrow and then I should see two of my buddies that are going to come in and camp. This is all this gear that I brought in was for them uh, the following day. So tomorrow, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I might, I might go look for some deeper fish or just go keep testing the ice and see where we can go when they get here. So we we're able to jump around a little bit and maybe use the electronics to catch some deeper fish. Or I might just set up for brookies. But one thing I know is I'm going to get that coffee going in the morning. I'm going to drive a big breakfast right into me. And then I'm going to have a great day. So thanks for tuning in, guys. See you tomorrow.